Back, this is a sample of a final research assignment that I'm expecting you to do. And this, uh, this was a team project, so you need probably to do a little bit less than this. But the format is the same. You, know, you have a nice cover a sheet and your name. Table of content, tell me what you know you have. And list of figures and table. Then as I said, you want to do your final project in a format of a chapter, so like, like the, your textbook. After studying this report, you should have, these are some of the learning objective for your for time management. Again, I want to emphasize that this is the importance of references. Again, most of you had classes with me in the past. Some of you that haven't, I want to emphasize, and in, you're in a graduate program, you need to know how to write a technical research report, and you need to know how to use references. You need at least 10 references for your final project. So first time you come across a reference, you call it one. So this information you see here is coming from this source. But remember how you use reference? You shouldn't copy the information directly from that reference. It means this, you read that reference, and this is your understanding of information that you got from that reference. Use your own uh, work. Then this is a first reference, then you go to this. This information is coming from second reference, so you call it number two, three, four, and so on. So look at this sample. Final project is a good report, so you can use that as guideline to write your sample final report. And going back, so that's mainly, and uh, these are some examples of a student work, so you can see what others have done. Use that as a guideline to see and critique their work. There are some good examples, you know, not so great examples, but these are you know, some examples for you to use. And last thing here is, Again, under this communication board is how you communicate with me and where you post your information, you post your uh, discussion board and also you uh, exam. So many here is mailboxes and here is the discussion board that you upload all the information that I'm needing. As long as I have all this stuff by the end of semester, again, you have to manage this class on your own. One of these discussion board is news forms, so it might be some general news, not much there. Ask questions, so if you have any question, you can ask here. Give it a few days for me to answer, especially as I said, if I'm traveling, I might not be able to answer right away, but I think after watching this overview, you shouldn't have any problem navigating and knowing what you're doing in classes. Here is audio lecture feedback. So after you watch those four audio lectures, you just come up here, Click here and write your half a page feedback. I need, you need to do four of them. So I need to see everybody's name with four feedback. And on subject round, write feedback about audio lecture about hiring. So I know you watch, you listen to a hiring audio lecture and your feedback. Then here's video lecture feedback. I ask you to do two of them. One is my personal video that was those eight uh, videos and you watch all those eight videos on YouTube and you write half a page to three quarter of page feedback. Then I ask you to for use other sources at this one. So you watch at this one other source and write feedback and just tell me which video you watch and your feedback should be your own understanding of watching that video. What did you learn from watching that video? Then your midterm exam, which I told you is very straightforward. I ask you to summarize two of the chapter in the textbook for the class in a sort of a PowerPoint. And please, when you summarize that chapter, use your own board. Don't use the title of the book. Be creative. Mainly, you read the, the chapter in the textbook and tell me what you understood. Summarize that in your own board, and you upload your exam here. The final exam, same thing. You upload it here, and the last discussion board is final project report and presentation. You upload your project report and your PowerPoint. Presentation. If you do a video presentation, you get a better grade, and I'll show you a sample video. You just give me the link and say this is the link on YouTube about my video lecture, and I can go and watch that. So this is mainly all communication form, and this is in Moodle, but we have clicked the link for you. So when you click first time, it asks you to sign up for Moodle, and you use your user ID and password. But you don't need to go Moodle. Mainly, this is the course website. And I think this is all you need to know for this class.
again. And, and I will send you the course website, but mainly all the information is on the course uh, website. I hope you enjoy the class and be a useful experience for all of you. Thank you.